Good morning guys and welcome to today's video where I do three more questions on the June 2017 Paper 3 Foundation Tier. Right guys, this video was recorded on Tuesday the 16th of November 2020. Right guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Adala Waishi and I'm a recently qualified maths teacher for second gen primary. Um, I make videos um, ranging from Key Stage 1 right up until key stage three and key stage um four and five maths and further maths okay um yeah if, if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel drop the video a like um and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on further uploads okay so my target guys here is i i i, I want to try and get to a thousand um subs by the end of this year if possible but but if not my my my, my second target is 500 so please please hit, 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 hit that subscribe button okay so, so you don't miss out on further videos and feel free yeah, to obviously spread the word about my channel and um share my videos around right guys question number 18 says the shop sells two brands of batteries the 45 pence per battery brand a so that's a pack of eight and the price is £3.60. For brand B, it says pack of six, price is £2.94. And then it says one brand A battery powers a toy for five hours. One brand B powers, but ba battery powers the same for five and a half hours. Which brand is better for value? Okay, so yeah, obviously show your workings. Right, guys. So if you look here, yeah, so... A pack of eight costs three pound sixty. That means that do my division so three pound sixty divided by eight, I get forty five pence. So forty five pence per battery. Okay, for for brand A, and then for brand B, two pound ninety four divided by six is um forty nine p. Okay, so working this out here yeah, so 45p per battery and then 49p per battery okay 45 times 5 okay b because the sentence a says it cost yeah um for four five hours is two pound 25 or 225 pence and then for brand b it says five five and a half hours so 49p times 5.5 is going to be yeah um two pounds seventy okay to, to the nearest penny okay so and then my last check was if you, if you look in the middle here okay in, in the blue it says 45 times 5.5 is 247.5 which is two pound 48 to um to the nearest pence that means yes yeah, so so looking at all my numbers that brand A is cheaper, so brand A is better value for money, okay? So that is my answer there, guys. Right, guys, okay, um, question number 20. An exam has two papers, and um, Anil scores 33 out of 60 on paper 1, and 75 out of 100 on paper 2. Work out his, his percentage score for the exam. Well, um, total number of mocks on, on both papers is 160. 60 plus 100 is 160. Um, so 33 plus 75 is 108. 108 divided by 160 times 100 is 67.5 percent. So that is my answer for question number 20. Right, guys, um, question 21 actually. So, so last question for, for today's video. Purple paint is made by mixing paint, red paint and blue paint in the ratio of 5 to 2. Jan has 30 litres of red paint and 9 litres of blue paint. Okay, what is the maximum number of purple paint that he can make? Okay, so, if you look here, yeah, so 30 litres of red paint and 9 litres. So, um... So I think I think my answer uh, is is actually incorrect to you. So my answer should be um, thirty one point five liters and not forty two, and that's because um, because so thirty to nine, yeah. So it's thirty to nine. So I've got five to two. Two times four point five is nine, and five times four point two, four four point five four four point five. Sorry, is twenty two point five. That means that. Based on number of um, 
blue paint that I have, I can only have a maximum of 22.5 litres of red paint based on the number of blue um, litres of blue paint. So that means the maximum number is 22.5 plus 9, which is 31.5. So that is my answer for question number 21. So the answer should be 31.5 and not 42. Okay, so yeah, 31.5 litres of purple paint. Okay, right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was useful. Um, stay safe, guys. Stay healthy and I'll see you soon.